switch back to gallery view all on your own if you go to view so for all of our friends who are participating we're so glad that you're here and you can choose if you want to see the faces of everyone around you then you can go to gallery view if you want to focus on Moralea as she's leading us then we can keep her as the spotlight you get to choose thank you rabbi eve so not to lie, everyone so we have a couple of things that we're going to do all together to set up our space. Normally for Rosh Hashanah, we're in the same room and we only have to set up one space. But this amazing Rosh Hashanah, right now I think we're in 16 different rooms. And so we all have to set up our space. And the first thing I need to know is who's with us. So I want you to take a minute and on your Zoom, change the name to the name of all of the children in the room participating with you so I can see who's there. That's step number one. Thank you so much for doing that, everyone. Step number two is I'm going to invite you to kind of make your space look a little bit like mine. So I don't know if you can see around me, but I have all of my friends around me, right? Because when we celebrate Rosh Hashanah, we need our com community with us. And I wanted to feel like I had a little bit of community here with me in the room. So I don't know if you can see, I've got Piglet with me. I've got Fox and Panda and Mitzvah Mouse with me. And on this side, I've got Chloe and Clifford and Bunny and Bear. So if you have some lovies with you and you want to invite them to participate with you, oh, I see that Ezra's got a lovey. If you have some lovies with you and you want to bring them out, that would really help us bring that community to the forefront. The second thing we need to do is what I like to call sanctifying our space. We kind of need to make our space a little bit holy. Normally, when we're all together for this service, we are in the holy space of the synagogue. But today, we are all in the holy spaces of our own house. So I want all of the grown-ups to look around at the children that are with them, and I want you to just say a blessing. Think about how grateful you are to be here with your family, with all of this craziness that's happening in the world around us. And I just want you to take one moment to look in the holiness of the eyeballs of the children with you. Look at their holiness in their eyebrows, eyebrows, eye, eyeballs, and recognize that we are all in a holy space because of the humans that we are here together. So I'm going to look into the eyeballs of my lovies. I'm going to look into the eyeballs of Rabbi Eve. You're going to look into your eyeballs of your children. We're all just going to take a moment and close our eyes and open them back up and look in those eyeballs and just say thank you. Thank you for the holiness of our family. 
Thank you for the holiness of Rosh Hashanah. Thank you for the holiness of being in this space together. So grown-ups, I want to encourage you with your kiddos to really participate all together. This service is not just for the kiddos, it's for your whole family, and it takes the grown-ups and the children together to celebrate this Rosh Hashanah experience together. Thank you for doing that with me. So for those of you who know me, I am Maura Lea, and those of you who don't, Shana Tava, I'm happy to be here with you. What I like to do, I always like to start with a song, which we just did. We sang, Hine Matov Umanaim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Here is what's beautiful about this moment. We are here all together. And I'm grateful for those words and the voices we all sing together. The second thing I like to do is I like to just take a little bit of stretch to ground myself and feel my body. So we're going to do that stretch all together right now. So I'm going to ask you to take one of your hands and put it out in front of you. I can see all of you. Good job, everyone. And I want you to take that hand and kind of turn it into whatever you think an apple might look like, or apple for Rosh Hashanah. So turn your hand into an apple. And then I invite you to stretch that apple up into the highest branch of a tree that you can imagine. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And as we stretch, our bodies get a little bit longer. Can you feel your body getting a little bit longer? And we're making more space in our bodies, right? We have a brand new year this morning, and with that brand new year, we have extra space through the stretch for all the brand new memories that are coming our way. I want you to pop that apple open into a big hand. Look in the eyeballs of the friends and family sitting in the room with you. Wave your hand and say, Shana Tova! Beautiful job, everyone. Now take your opposite hand and put your opposite hand in front of you and turn that opposite hand into another apple. Stretch that apple into the highest branch, a little bit higher, and as your body is stretching and getting longer, we're making so much room for love and peace in this new year. Open your apple right up, look right into the camera, look right in my apple, eyeballs. Wave your hand and say, Shana Tova. I am so, so happy to be here with everyone this morning. So, when we talk about Rosh Hashanah, we talk about a bunch of different things. And the first thing that comes to mind for me is what I did last night with my family, which is lighting the candle, right? We light the candles. Can you do that with me? And we say a blessing for a new year. That's going to be the first part of this next song. The second thing that we do is we take our apples and what do we dip them in? Spaghetti sauce? Perfect. Take your spaghetti sauce and dip your, wait a minute, did I get that wrong? It's not spaghetti sauce? What do I, I do thought it was. I thought it was chocolate sauce. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Rabbi Eve. So take your apple and your chocolate sauce. Wait a minute. I'm getting some no's again. It's not chocolate sauce? Is it I peanut butter? Peanut butter? No, that's, we have too many allergies for it to be peanut butter. Oh, I think I know. Is it honey? If I got it right, will you shake your head? Thank you, everybody. Okay, so the second thing we do is we take our apple and we dip it in our honey for our sweet new year and we say, Bore Peri Ha'es. And the third thing we're gonna talk about in this song, which is my favorite part, is wishing everybody a sweet year. And for that, we say, Leshana Tova Umetuka. So those are the three things we're gonna talk about in this song, but we also need some hand motions to go with it. And Rabbi Eve, I'm gonna need your help on this one. So the first thing we do when we sing the song is we're gonna clap four times to this side. So we go one, two, three, four. Very good. And then we're going to clap four times to this side. One, two, three, four. And then we clap four times up here. One, two, three, four. And we clap four times down there. One, two, three, four. But I can't do the clapping because I'm going to be playing on my guitar. So Rabbi Eve, will you please lead us in the clapping? Are your hands ready? Everybody ready? We sing Shana. We sing Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. We sing Shana. We sing Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. And the first thing we do is our candle lighting. So get your hands ready. We sing Shana, 
we sing to the Shana Tova, Shana Tova, we sing Shana, we sing Tova, Shana Tova, Shana Tova, and the next one was the um, apple and spaghetti sauce, right? You ready? Wait a minute, not spaghetti sauce, it's honey, are you ready? For it, Harry, ha, we tip our apple in honey. For it, Harry, ha, we tip our apple in honey. We sing Shana, we sing Tova. Shana, Tova, Shana, Tova, we sing Shana, we sing Tova. Shana Tova, Shana Tova. This last one is our greeting with Shana Tova Umetuka. We're wishing for a sweet new year. With Shana Tova Umetuka, we wish for a sweet new year. Let's Shana Tova Umetuka, we wish for a sweet new year. We sing Shana. We sing Tova, Shana Tova, Shana Tova. We sing Shana, we sing Tova, Shana Tova, Shana Tova. Thank you so much, friends, for singing that with me. I love thinking about all the symbols of Rosh Hashanah. And one of the other things we do on Rosh Hashanah besides dipping our apple in honey is we go to the zoo. No, no, no. I, I think I have the wrong holiday. We eat masa? Rabbi Eve, I think I'm a little bit stuck. What is another thing we do for Rosh Hashanah? Hmm. For Rosh Hashanah, we light the candles. We eat the apples dipped in honey. We say Shana Tova, and we eat the matzah. That's what I said. Is it eating the matzah? No. I see some friends shaking their heads no. Did we get this one wrong? Is this, is this the holiday where we dress up in costumes and eat hamantashen, which are triangle-shaped cookies? Oh, I do love that holiday, but I don't, I don't think that's this one. I see some more friends shaking their heads no. Hmm. Is this the one where we have a huge big party and celebrate the birthday of the world yes oh i so hope so you know i wrote a poem for this holiday that i'd love to share with you guys well how does it go apples are red honey is gold our beautiful earth is another year old and we are all here to celebrate this together so we're going to sing a song surprise surprise about the birthday of the world and I'm going to teach you some hand motions, and I want you to do them with me. And I can see all of you, so I'll be able to tell that you're doing it for sure. So the first hand motion goes like this. And we say, Hayom, which is today. Can you do that? Very good. Hayom. Awesome. Harat Olam. Today is the day that the world was born. Let's try that all together. Hayom, Hayom, Harat Olam. Very good. And then the next part, super easy. We take our hands and we sing, Happy birthday, world. Hi, yo, hi, yo. Happy birthday, world. Perfect. So that's how the song starts. And then there's going to be some repeats that I'm going to need your help with. Are your hands ready?
but you couldn't eat it. So instead I'll say, I am, I am, I lost a long happy birthday world. I am, I am, I lost a long happy birthday world. Okay, Rabbi Eve, I need your help because I am going to go to this huge birthday party for the world today, and I want to make sure I bring a present. And I'm thinking in my head about what the world might like for a birthday present. So I want you guys at home, I'm going to ask you first, Rabbi Eve, but I want you guys at home to think about this. If you were going to a birthday party for the whole world, what present would you bring the world? And I want to invite you to use your chat right now, to write in the chat what you might give the world for a birthday present. Maybe you think the well, we just decided that the world wouldn't eat a cake, right? So what would some what would something be that the world could use? Rabbi Eve, do you have any ideas to start us off? Rain. Oh my gosh. We just had rain, which was such an important gift for the world. Any other ideas about what we might give the world for a birthday present? Are any of those coming through? Maybe some seeds or some trees? We have Chala. I love that. Uh, Ezra and Miriam says, not her little purse. Not her little purse. Yeah, there's some things that wouldn't be a good fit for the world for a birthday present. Any other ideas of things that we could do to help the world? Mm. Could we say kind words? Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. The kinder we are to each other, the better the world is for sure. Kindness. I love that one. Oh, uh, what is that? Peace and clean air, my goodness. Those are such beautiful birthday presents. Broccoli does, does give the world everything. Oh, I love all of these. Helping others who need help. These are beautiful, beautiful gifts. I love these ideas. So this next part of the song, I want you to repeat after me. We're going to talk about some of those birthday presents that we give to the world. So I'll pick out my trash. I'll help a friend. I'll say nice words and I'll say it again. I yum, I yum, I lost a long happy birthday world. I yum, I yum, I lost a long happy birthday world. I yum, I yum, I lost a long happy birthday I can tell that the world is going to be okay with all of your beautiful ideas to help us take care of it. The next thing we're going to do is say Mode Ani. And when we say Mode Ani in the morning, we are thinking about all of the things that we are very, very, very thankful for. I, this morning, am thankful to be in my jammies with all of you. I'm thankful that I can see the blue sky once again. As we sing Mode Ani together right now, I want you to again use the chat Think about things that your family might be thankful for and share them with us, and we're going to talk about it as soon as we're done singing this song. Yeah. <laughs> 
my goodness, I see so many things coming in in the chat. What are all oh, for Shabbat? We are thankful for Shabbat, for family, for clean air, for friends. Those are all amazing and wonderful things to be thankful for. Thank you. I'm thankful that you are sharing all of those with me. So our next tefillah, our next prayer is Matovu. And Matovu is a prayer about how we are thankful. Jacob looks around at his tent and he's thankful for all of the gifts that Israel has given him, among them the shelters of, of the tents of Jacob. And so normally at this part of the service when we're all together, we invite all of the adults, the grown-ups who have talitot, spread them over us just like the beautiful tents of Jacob so that all of the children can stand under them. And it's a little bit tricky to do that kind of here together. I brought, I brought my tent so I could spread myself under it. This is the blanket I brought. And if you have a tally, if you're wearing it, I see some of you are wearing tally coats, or if you have a blanket on the couch near you, I would like to invite the grown-ups to take a moment and spread that blanket out over your child. If you don't have a blanket with you, you can use your hands or you can imagine one, make a pretend one with your hands, but I want you to take a moment and invite your children to come into the shelter and the peace that you've created for them. I see, oh, I see a talit with children under it. I see adults' hands over their children. I love all of those. And I want to invite you to keep your children under the security of your tent security of your blanket as we sing Matovo together. about Birkot HaShachar, about our morning blessings? Yes. So we warmed up our voices and we started having a little bit of a conversation about what it's like to have gratitude and how good it is to come together. But we also learned when we're looking at our morning service that there are other ways that we get ready for a day, other things we can notice around us. And we're gonna say just a few of these blessings this morning. So one of my favorite blessings is a blessing about a rooster. Because the blessing that we say first thing in the morning says, thank you, God, for giving the rooster knowledge. Morelia, do you know what the rooster knows? Um, how to wake everyone up in the morning? Yeah, but how does it know when to wake everyone up in the morning? Is it because the sun comes up? It is because the sun comes up. Good job. So the first blessing says, thank you, God, for helping the rooster to know the difference between day and night so that we know the difference between day and night. And I'm gonna say this bracha, it's a pretty long one, but the best part is, is even if you don't know the words, you can just say amen at the end, and it's like you said the bracha. Baruch ata Adonai Elohinu melech haolam asher natan lasech vivina lehavchin ben yom uvein laila. Amen. This next bracha says, thank you, God, she'asani bitzalmo. Thank you, God, for making me me. 
for making me exactly who I need to be for this world because we all have something that we can give. We all have a difference that we can make. She'asani betzelmo. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam she'asani betzelmo. Amen. And this last part of, of Birkot HaShachar says, Hanoten liya'ef koach. Thank you, God, who gives the ayef. Can you show me an ayef face? That's tired. <sighs> That's a real yawn. Koach, some strong arms. Let me see your strong arms. We need strength to get through our day. Thank you, God, who gives us strength even when we're at our most tired. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hanoten liya'ef koach. Amen. Thank you so much, Rabbi Eve. You know, I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like I've been sitting for a really long time, and I feel like dancing, and I am feeling hallelujah. I am feeling really like I want to praise God that we have this space and time to be together. And I brought a few things with me to help me do that that I'm wondering if you might have in your house as well. So I brought some musical instruments, and I brought some Scarves. Those are things that help me dance. And I'm going to give a few scarves to my loveys because I think they might want to dance with me too. And if you have anything that might make your dancing fun, I want to invite you to grab those things. Maybe you want to dance with your shofar. Maybe you want to dance with your loveys. Oh, I see some of you have instruments. Maybe you just want to dance by using your bodies. Let's stand up all together. And we are going to dance and sing hallelujah. Praise God that we are here all together. Hallelujah, 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 And for me, 
every time I hear this melody, it really makes me feel like Rosh Hashanah is here. So I'm going to start. I'm going to do the Baruch Hu. You're going to repeat after me, and you're going to bend your knees. Baruch, right? That's our knees. We're going to bend our knees and bow as we do it. You guys ready? Baruch Hu. I'm going to invite you to take out your shin. We're going to get really quiet and listen and say the Shema all together. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Hear, O Israel Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. We are now at the part in our service where we're going to do the Amidah. So we should still be standing. Everyone can stand La Amod for the Amidah. And we're really just going to take a moment to say our family blessing together. We're going to do Adonai Fatai Tiftach all together. We take three steps backwards and three steps forward. And then we'll pause for a moment so everybody in their family can gather tight and take a moment to acknowledge and be together. <laughs> Take that quiet moment with your family. Okay, friends, if you feel comfortable coming and sitting down all together, this is a good moment to do that. We're going to come into our prayer for peace, Oseh Shalom. I love this prayer so much, and I love that there are physical motions that we do with it that really help ground the meaning of these words that we're saying together. So we say, Oseh Shalom, Bim Romav. Maker of peace in the heavens. And when we say bin Ramav, we hold that peace up here. Hu ya'ase shalom aleinu. That peace is not just up here. That peace is also for all of us here on earth, among us, aleinu. Hu ya'ase shalom aleinu. Ve'al kol Yisrael. We spread that peace out to all of Israel. But it's not just enough to spread it out to who we are. We need to spread it out beyond that. Hu ya'ase shalom aleinu. Ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel. We spread it even wider. Al kol Yoshvei Tevel. So that everyone in the world can feel that peace. But if we don't stand up and use our voices to spread that peace, other people won't hear about it. So we really need to tell all of our friends about it so that that peace is spread throughout the world. Amen. So Rabbi Eve is going to lead us on those hand motions. And as you're moving your hands, really think about the meaning of those words and prayers and what you're doing with your body to bring that feeling of peace into the world. Make sure everyone gets it. They are so you say. 
much everyone. It feels a little bit strange to only hear myself. Um, I miss you guys and I miss your voices and I hope very, very soon we will all be doing this in the same room together. It is a really special part in our service right now. What is that behind me? Rabbi Eve, do you know what that is behind me? I have the same one behind me. Oh, are we in the same room? Where are you? Oh. That's funny. What do you guys um, think of the side of there? Hmm. Is that where you keep the chocolate? Oh my gosh, that would be a lot of chocolate. But you know what? There's something even better than chocolate in there. I bet there's something super sweet that has some really good stories in it. There sure is. It's the Torah. So we're going to all stand up and show respect for the Torah as we take it out. Are you ready? Here we go. By a heaping so Aaron, by a mere Moshe, Kuma Adonai, they are good to Oveha, they are new to Missanecha, Mipanecha, he missions, he says, Torah, he missions, he says, Torah, Udeva Adonai. You guys, look what's inside. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at these beautiful Torahs. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take one out. I wish I had one to do for you, but I'm going to pass them out to all my friends here who are in the circle with me. I've got one for Piglet. I've got one for Clifford. And I'm going to take one for myself. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go on a Torah parade just right here. Do you guys want to come on this Torah parade with me? Come stand up with me. We're going to do it together. Torah, 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 Siva, Lanu, Moshe. Torah, 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 Siva, Lanu, Moshe. Torah, Torah, I'm going to come sit back down and I'm going to bring my Torahs to a very, very special, special birthday party. Today is the birthday party for the world. Oh, I need to get ready. This isn't just my birthday party. I'm only one person. This is the biggest birthday party there is. It is the birthday party of the whole world. And I have all of my friends coming to this birthday party today. Oh, I think the first guest has arrived at my door. I wonder who it could be. Da -da -da! at the birthday party of the whole world. Mitch and I'm so glad you're the first one to arrive. Will you help me greet the guests as they come? Yes, 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 yes. I am so happy to be at the birthday party of the world. Mitch and I, you're a little bit early, and I haven't had a chance to set up yet. Will you help me set up? Absolutely. Friends at home, will you help us set up also? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mix them out. What is the first thing that we should do for our party? Well, what I like to do for a party is I like to get dressed in my fanciest clothes. Do you see what I am wearing? I'm wearing my favorite birthday cape. It's my Mix them out cape. Yeah! And I'm also wearing this very fancy bow because I like to be so fancy for parties. Well, Mix them out, you do look lovely, but do you know that I... I'm actually leading a service this morning, and it started at 8 a.m., and it's a jammy service, so I'm, I'm only wearing my jammies. What should I do? Well, we can pretend to get fancy. Should we all pretend to get fancy together? Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fabulous. So, Miss Winnell, what are the things that I should wear to a birthday party? I see that Rabbi Eve is already wearing a crown. Oh, is that Samara also wearing a crown? Many of our friends have remembered to wear their birthday crown. Why don't we start there? Miss Fennell, that's such a good idea. Okay, my friends, I want you to take out your either your real crown or your pretend crown, both crowns will work, and put your birthday crown on your head. Doesn't that make us feel so festive? Is your birthday crown on your head? Fantastic. Okay, Miss Fennell, we have our birthday crowns, and I think the second thing was um, dressing fancy. Yes, yes, yes. I love wearing a fancy bow to a birthday party, so I would invite you, friends, to find a bow or a pretend bow, and we are going to put on our pretend bows. Are you ready? Okay, everyone, are you ready? Let's put on our pretend bows. Right over the left, left over the right. Pull, pull, pull. Miss the mouse, I am now wearing a crown and a bow, and I feel that I'm really ready to celebrate at the park. Oh, just in time, another guest has arrived. Wonderful, let's see who is here. Oh, Piglet, Piglet has come to our birthday party. Piglet, we are so happy you are here. Shana Tova, Piglet. Shana Tova, Miss Fanel. Oh, there's another knock on the door. Let's see who's next. Hello, I am Fox, and I am here for the birthday party. Have I come to the right place? Yes, 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 Fox. I am so glad that you are here, Shana Tova. Shana Tova, why don't you take a seat? We're waiting for a few more guests. Oh, I wonder who it could be. Oh, we have a couple of friends who have come together. We've got Narwhal here at the birthday party and Panda. Shana Tova, Panda, and Narwhal. Shana Tova, Miss Tova. We are so glad you are here to celebrate the birthday of the world. I see that Sasha has some lovies who are coming to the party too. And Sherry has some lovies coming to the party. My goodness, we're getting so many friends coming to the birthday party. I wonder who it could be. It is, oh, so many lovies. It's Chloe and Clifford who are the wives together. Yay, friends. I am so glad you are here for the birthday party. Shut up about Chloe. Shut up about Clifford. Shut up about Miss Fidel. Oh, look around us, Miss Fennell. We have, can you guys see all the friends that have come to our birthday party? I think that we are ready to sing happy birthday to the world, right? That's the first thing we should do at a birthday party. Friends, will you join me at home? We are all going to sing happy birthday. Are you ready? Miss Fennell will lead us. One, two, three. Young lad is Young blood and summer, young blood and slip on arm, young blood and summer. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear world! Party. What happens at a birthday party after we sing a song? Uh, we eat the cake. Yes, Miss Bumel. We eat the cake, but there's something we do before we eat the cake. What do we do? We blow out the candles. But I don't know about you. I've been to a lot of birthday parties in the past couple of months, and nobody's blowing out candles on cakes anymore. Miss Bumel, why? I don't know. That is so strange. Something is different about birthdays. And I'm wondering if something is different about this birthday, too. Miss Mouse, I'm wondering that, too. And do you know what happens when I have a really big question? What? When I have a really big question that I need an answer to, I ask a rabbi. Oh, that is such a good idea. And do you know the really good news about this is we have a rabbi here with us now, Rabbi Eve. We have a question for you. Miss the Mouse has a question for you. The question is, what is different now? 
why can't we blow the candles out of out on the cake? What makes this birthday party different? Oh, mitzvah mouse, that is such a good question. This year feels so different. First, I'm leading services in my jammies. Sort of nice, actually. If you know me, you know that that's probably how I want to do that every year. This year is different because we're not all together. We're on our screens. But this year is also the same because it's a new year. And we're singing some of the same songs that we always sing. And we're reading the same Torah stories that we read every year. Because did you know that the Hebrew word for year, Shana, also could mean Shinui, could mean change? Because a new year is a time for change. A new year is also a time for Mishnah, to learn. And so, Mitzvah Mouse, the reason that this year looks different is because the world is changing, and so are we. So even us, each of us looks a little bit different this year than we did last year, and our celebrations are going to look a little bit different, but change is how we learn, and change is how we grow. And our hope, Mitzvah Mouse, this year, even if we're not blowing out candles, is that what we are doing is learning from each other and helping to bring change to our world. Rabbi Eve, thank you so much for sharing that with us. That is a wonderful explanation. I am feeling like I'm ready to welcome this new year with that knowledge and welcome the change that is coming. And there are some things that stay the same, just as you mentioned. And one of those things is our amazing, beautiful Torah. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Torahs away now. If you guys want to sing with me and stand up, we are going to dance the Torahs back. Mitch the Mouse is going to take this one and help me put it back. Are you guys ready? Shalom, 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 shalom. Oh, that party was really, really fun. Thank you, everybody. So we talked about lighting the candles for a brand new holiday. We talked about dipping apples in honey for a sweet new year. We talked about the greeting that we say to each other, la shana tova. And we talked about how it's the birthday party of the world. But I have a feeling we forgot one really important symbol. And I think I saw one a little bit earlier. Someone was dancing with one. Do you guys know what that symbol is? Hmm. Rabbi Eve, do you have a hint for us? Do you know what that symbol is? Hmm. I think I have a hint. That symbol is something long or short. And sometimes you find it in the wild. Does Is, is this a hint? Hmm. Uh, a unicorn? Is the symbol of Rosh Hashanah a unicorn? Yes. <gasps> this is really my favorite holiday now. <laughs> I don't think it's the unicorn, but it's something that a unicorn has on the top of its head. We're talking about a horn, right? Yeah. A sh shofar. A shofar. And you know what? This is a really special Rosh Hashanah because it's also Shabbat. So we don't actually blow the shofar on Shabbat, but we can absolutely sing about the shofar on Shabbat. So we are going to sing about the shofar song. And Rabbi Eve, I know you have some hand motions that go with this, so you guys can follow Rabbi Eve on the hand motions. Are you ready? I love to hear the shofar drop, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar drop. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Here come our sounds, and here come our hand motions. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Here comes the big one. I like to hear the shofar drop. 
year. The show far back. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the show far back. Happy, happy, happy new year. To Kia. It's one of my favorite favorites of the year. So, friends, we've come to the end of our service. I want to invite you to find the lap of a grown-up. Bring your bodies so close together. Snuggle in each other's arms. I'm going to give you a moment to find that space. And we are going to sing, You Are a Blessing. This is our family blessing song. It's a repeat, so I'm going to say a line, and you're going to repeat it back. And we're going to end with the Yivarechacha. You ready, friends? Everybody found a snuggly spot? It looks like, ooh, and a lot of love you, too. Beautiful. You are a blessing every day when I want to grow, learn and play. You are a blessing every day when you care for me. Help our family. I'll love you and keep you. I'll hug you and kiss you forever and ever. And ever. May God bless you. May God keep you. Shine light on you. Help you find peace. May God watch you and stay with you. Forever and ever and ever. We are Rafa, Adonai ve'Yisrocha, Ya'er Adonai, Anav le'Avihunecha, Yisadonai. Shana Tova, everyone. Thank you so much for spending this time with us this morning. Rabbi Eve, would you like to share with us the schedule for tomorrow? Yes, Shana Tova to all of my friends. I'm so glad we got to celebrate Rosh Hashanah together. I'll tell you a little bit about the rest of the day starting in about five minutes. The live stream uh, high holiday service is going to begin uh, over on the CNS webpage and also on the Zoom live service uh, will be happening at about t at 10 o'clock. The, the K through six services will be beginning. At 11.20 over on the Zoom service, Eileen Safian and I, we share the Bima together every year. We will be leading live Musaf over on the Zoom, so if you want, you should tune in for that. Uh, at noon, we have a hangout in Zoom rooms, so just like you would stand in the hallway chatting with each other if you were actually in the building, we can, we're going to try and make that happen too in a Zoom room. Uh, and then tomorrow... At 10 a.m. right here, we have our next family service. And tomorrow, we're actually going to do a Rosh Hashanah Seder. 
together. So uh, we're using the PJ Library. They have a wonderful booklet for the high holidays, and in there is a sweet little Seder. So we're going to do that as part of our service tomorrow. Um, and then also tomorrow at 4 o'clock, the Jewish Federation and the Oregon Board of Rabbis are working together for all of Oregon and Southwest Washington. We want everyone at four o'clock, if you have a shofar, to go outside and blow your shofar, because we can't have our shofar service together, but we can see if we can hear other people around us. So four o'clock tomorrow, you're gonna go outside, blow that shofar, and I wanna hear, if you hear other people blowing, I wanna know if you could hear other people. Uh, and then we're working our way through all the rest of the holiday season. So make sure you're checking the web page and your emails so that we can keep seeing each other. It's so good to see you. I wish everyone a sweet, sweet, sweet new year. May this year be a year that we find the change that we need. Thank you, Rabbi. We're going to end with Shalom Chaveri. Shalom Chaveri, Shalom Chaveri, Shalom, Shalom. Let it go, let it go, shalom, shalom. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you again, we'll see you again, goodbye, goodbye. Shana Tova, everyone, may you have a beautiful and sweet new year. See you soon. Shana Tova.